Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be taking through loads of examples using Pythagoras. We're going to start off simple, then we're going to move through to some more complicated ones and some more complicated ones. If you want loads and loads of practice questions, then you can go and get the workbook which is available from my website. Here we have 15 examples that we're going to go through in this video. Some easy examples if you're aiming for roughly a grade 4 medium examples aimed at grade 5 or 6 students and then some hard examples aimed at grade 7, 8 and 9 students. Each section will start with a bit of an explanation, a work through, so watch the first one in each section and then decide if you want to continue or whether you want to skip to a harder section to try and challenge yourself to some harder questions. In this video we're going to be using a squared plus b squared equals c squared as Pythagoras' theorem. c is always the hypotenuse, this one here, the one opposite the right angle and then after that it doesn't really matter which one we label as a and b. But it's always a good idea to label them so that we don't get confused, so we don't get mixed up later on. We can then pop numbers in, so a squared, 36 squared, plus b squared, 15 squared equals c squared. We can use our calculator to tidy this up a bit. So 36 squared is 1,296 plus 15 squared, which is 225, will equal 1,521. Now remember, this 1,521 is equal to c squared. So we need to square root things so we get the answer for c, and that gives us 39. Again, we're going to use a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Here we have c, the hypotenuse, opposite the right angle. And then I'm going to call this one a and this one b. So a squared, 11 squared plus b squared, 60 squared equals c squared. 11 squared is 121 plus 60 squared, 3600 equals c squared. 121 plus 3600 is 3721. Then we can square root that so we can say that c is equal to 61. If you want to challenge yourself a bit, try doing this one without a calculator. Because it's C is already labelled for us. I want to call this one A and this one B. So A squared, 45 squared plus B squared, 24 squared equals C squared. 45 squared is 2025 plus 24 squared is 576, giving us in total 2601 as C squared. If you want to square root it to get the answer, that'll be 51. Same equation again, a, b, a squared, 99 squared plus b squared, 20 squared equals c squared. 99 squared is uh, 9,801 plus 20 squared. 400. Adding those together will give us 1,201. Square root of 1,201 to give us a length of C gives us an answer of 101. Moving on to some slightly harder questions now. 
we're going to use the same equation that we've been using so far, but you see the hypotenuse here, C, we already have that. So A squared, that's the one we're trying to find, plus B squared equals C squared. And you'll notice here I'm putting the values in first and then I'm going to rearrange the equation. That is just my preferred way of doing it. In the next example, I'll show you rearranging the equation first and then putting the numbers in. You can do it either way around, whichever way you find easiest. So A squared plus 60 squared is plus 3,600 equals 68 squared, 4,624. We can now do 4,624 minus 3,600. And then we can say that A squared is 1,024. Square root of 1,024 gives us an answer of 32. Starting with the same equation, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Labeling c is the hypotenuse, the one opposite the right angle here, and this one is b. This time we're going to rearrange the equation first. So I'm going to take plus b squared over to the other side of the equation, so I'm going to minus b squared. So we have a squared equals c squared minus b squared. If you like rearranging the equation first, then rearrange the equation first. If you want to put the numbers in first, then put the numbers in first. It is completely up to you. A squared equals C squared, 85 squared minus uh, B squared minus 75 squared. So 85 squared is 7,225 minus 75 squared which is 5625 will give us an answer of 1600 square rooting that will give us an answer of 40. This is another one I would like you to try and do without your calculator because all the numbers involved are common numbers. Now for this one I'm going to show you putting the numbers in First, here we have C, the hypotenuse opposite the right angle, and A. So A squared, which is 5 squared plus B squared equals C squared. 13 squared, 5 squared, 25 plus B squared equals 13 squared. 13 squared is 169. We can then do taking 25 over to the right hand side of the equation. So we have b squared equals 169 minus 25, 144. Find b, we need to do the square root of 144, which is 12. Learning these may seem um, quite hard work, but it really will pay off in the long term. Another non-calculator one here. Um, here is C opposite hypotenuse, there is A, and in this example I've rearranged the equation first for you. B squared equals 15 squared minus 9 squared. So B squared is, and yes, I know you might not like it, but I would really like you to know that 15 squared is 225 minus 9 squared, 81. It is just going to make your life easier if you know these things by heart. Um, 225 minus 81 is 144. Square root of 144 is 12. Here we have the same sort of thing going on with our hypotenuse and our A. And again, this one, I'm going to put the numbers in first. So 18 squared plus B squared equals 30 squared, so 324 plus b squared equals 900. b squared equals 900 minus 324, which is 576. So the square root of 576 is 24. Slightly harder one now, involving some decimals. We need to be a bit more careful with what we are doing. B squared equals C squared, 77 squared, minus 64.6 squared. 
if you're confident with your calculator, this is the sort of thing you can type straight into your calculator. And then we are going to be saving ourselves a lot of time doing that. Um, so B squared is 1755.84 and B is 41.9. A more traditional one now, here we have A and B, so 8.3 squared plus 7.7 .7 squared equals C squared. Again, hopefully you're confident with your calculator, and for this sort of thing, at this level, you can just type it straight into your calculator, giving us 128.18 equaling C squared, and then 11.3 for C. A, B, although it really doesn't matter which way around you number them, plus 53.5 squared equals C squared. Straight into your calculator, it is 4,878.25 uh, equaling C squared. Square rooting that will give 69.8 to equal C. C squared minus B squared equals A squared. So 99.6 squared minus 52.8 squared equals A squared. Straight into your calculator, 7132.32 equals A squared. The square root of that is 84.5. So 13.4 squared plus 17.8 squared equals C squared. Straight into your calculator, 496.4 equals C squared. Square root of that is going to give us 22.3. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches. <laughs>